<laughs> so in the real time when we do the analysis, it will turn out that it will only be in positive sense, then only it can have the continuity. If it is in the negative sense, you cannot maintain the continuity. It is not possible to, for you to make the continuity. You get fed up, right? like shouting at someone. Anger, right? Can you continue with anger? Right? No. You get exhausted, right? Five minutes of anger and just starts your all energy, right? <laughs> then you have to do something about it. Okay. So, who is responsible to make it available? This education in Sanskar. All three, right? The parents, the teachers, and the society at large. Right? All of them are, you know, responsible. But if all of them are not acting responsibly, where do you begin? So we begin with the education in Sanskar, right? We begin with the schools and the colleges. We begin with the teachers, right? So that's the most important role of a teacher, you know, to provide the right kind of education in Sanskar. But, of course, we need to educate the parents, we need to educate other people in the society, right, who are taking decisions. But teachers have the most important role to play. And that is why, you know, we think that the initiative has to be taken by the educational institution. Right? Therefore, the initiative has to be taken by the education and the teachers. Okay. <coughs> Are we able to ensure this education? If we want to provide such education, what would be the basic requirements? That is what we want to expose. That if you look at this, right, education and sanskar, human education and sanskar, what are the basic requirements? That is what we would like to explore. Okay. So let's start that exploration into what human education and sanskar would look like. So what I would do is ask you another set of questions, one after the other, and then make the conclusions out of that. So the first question is, is human relationship important? Is it important, not important? We will look into this, right? <coughs> Check within yourself, what do we all want? We can examine this within ourselves. Do we want to be happy? Yes? No? Do we want to be prosperous? Yes. Do we want the continuity of happiness and prosperity? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very simple, okay? <laughs> Is there anybody who does not want this? <laughs> no one. No one wishes to have a problem. So this is what you want as human being, right? Very simple. But what is the state of our being? These are the three questions regarding our state of being. Are we happy? Are we prosperous? Is there continuity of our happiness and prosperity? <coughs> so, that warm yes is not there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that, you know, yes which we have here, okay, is not all that clear cut here. Right? And the more serious question than this, is if I ask yourself, is our is our effort for continuity of happiness and prosperity, or just for accumulation of physical facilities? Accumulation of physical facilities. <coughs> Think, because we want this continuity of happiness and prosperity. And we are working for accumulation of physical facility. It may not be different direction altogether, 
But this does it necessarily ensure this or not? Is not very clear. It has been proven that uh, the, the achievement of the last one will not guarantee the first one. And what we are doing is focusing our attention on this. Right? Where is we want to ensure this? Now that gap has to be understood. What is the gap? So what? Uh, what is your good name? Umesh. Ah, what Umesh you are telling that all our edu education is geared up to this, right? And as a human being, this is what we desire for. Right? Does this ensure this? Not necessarily. Right? What else is required is not clear. And that is what we need to make clear. What else is required other than physical facility which will ensure happiness and prosperity for human beings? So you can see that difference between yes when you said about this, right? That clear cut yes here. I am not very clear cut yes here. That difference is because our attention is focused on this and not on this. We are working for this, not for this, with the assumption that happiness and prosperity will automatically come when you have enough physical facility. <laughs> This is the assumption, which is not correct. But this is the underlying assumption with which the whole modern society is working. This is the underlying assumption with which the whole modern education is working. So that somewhere we meet, and that is, of course, uh, uh, some inspiration that we draw from the uh, GNHS. So what is that is saying that we must probably, you know, reduce the amount of effort we are putting here, and that bit of, you know, effort which we are putting here and we have reduced, we can put, you know, put it here. But then I need to have the clarity of what else do I need to do other than ensuring physical safety. So that if I have saved some time and effort, right, I will invest into that. Or maybe there is an altogether different priority which I will work out and then decide to invest my time and effort for that. That is what we are going to do now. That's the purpose you know, of this session. Okay. <coughs> so let's explore for that, right? Then happiness in your family is more due to lack of physical facility or more due to lack of fulfillment in relationship? I think basic necessity is required to have the um, relationship, you know, um, fulfill, fulfillment of the relationship. Because usually when the uh, family uh, are not able to um, have the ends meet, that's when there is also a lot of a problem and they cannot be happy in the family. So, yeah, may not true. be may not be aiming for becoming rich or wealthy 
or really um, successful in physical uh, facilities, but at the same time, uh, they need to have the basic necessities to be happy. One, a mother cannot, mother and father, father cannot be happy if the child is hungry. So uh, I think that is. Mm. Yeah, true. I mean, the need for physical facility is there, right? So we are not undermining the need of physical facility. Okay, it is there. Okay. But the question I am asking is that if you, for example, people sitting here, right? The unhappiness in your family, is it more due to lack of physical facilities as of today, right? Or more due to lack of fulfillment in relationship? You cannot say one alone, sir. You cannot say one alone. I think you have a certain degree of membership in both. Yeah, but what is more? I mean, what is more? Oh, no, 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 on this, uh, I would like to share a small uh, lesson that was taught by one of my uh, I would like to share one of just small lessons taught by uh, my teacher when I was in school. He used to share one uh, story uh, about happiness and he said, uh, perhaps a teach, uh, person was praying to God and then he wishing to God to give uh, him whatever he desires for. And then one day the God appeared and the God said, okay, uh, tell me what do you wish for? and uh, I can grant you, but beware that your neighbors will be twice wished, so the twice granted. So then he said, okay, I will think about it, and then I will uh, tell tomorrow. And next day he went to the God, and he said, please make my one eye blind. So, uh, which means that uh, perhaps in this society, more than physical facility or relationship, I guess that there is something else you know, uh, that makes people more unhappy, and even in the relationship. Uh, so we, we also have a saying, uh, saying that uh, um, uh, if there is a relationship, physical facilities can be put in place. But if uh, there is no relationship, no, uh, if the relationship is that, then even if you have whatever uh, physical facilities you have, it will be uh, exhausted. So uh, I think the relationship is more uh, more important than the physical facilities because uh, uh, we can also see that uh, rich people are unhappy, you know, and we can also see poor people are happy. So this indicates, I think, the re uh, relationship is more important than physical facilities. Last. Uh, thank you very much. Um, to my mind, uh, uh, how do we define more or less? I think uh, we'll have to, uh, or, uh, we'll have to say this is enough. So, uh, in such a time, we, uh, what, uh, um, we, we are able to say that this is uh, what is enough. Then uh, I don't think uh, we'll be able to, what, uh, there is a connection between the physical facility and uh, the fulfillment of the relationship. So, to my mind, if we, once we are able to say this is what is enough, then the fulfillment in the relationship will appear. Yeah, I mean, my uh, idea was to just ask you that if you look at your moments of happiness and unhappiness in your, you know, kind of living, let's say integrate over the day, Okay. The unhappiness happiness that we are in a you know, state of is it due to is it more due to lack of fulfillment in the relationship or is it due to lack of physical fulfillment? So I was just asking in this sense. And I'm asking this question also to draw your attention as to whether both physical facility and relationship are important for human beings or you can do it without any one of them. Okay.
So it is in that sense I am asking this question. So if I ask the next question, it will become more clear. Okay. How much time and effort are you investing for physical relationship or for mental relationship? Unfortunately, for the first one. Yeah. So unfortunately, <laughs> you are now investing major part of your time and effort here. Right? Where is the problem? A lot of problems are there due to this. Okay. So the simple conclusion which I wanted to draw is just this. That the unhappiness is more due to lack of fulfillment in the relationship. But most of the time and effort is spent for physical facility. <coughs> right? This is the contradiction that you can see mm -hmm. in our life today. And I don't want to draw even this strong conclusion, right? My conclusion is very simple, which I wanted to draw, and it is just this. For human being, physical facility is necessary, but relationship is also necessary. Right? <laughs> very simple conclusion, okay? But very important conclusion, okay? Because if you can see this conclusion, right, you can understand or at least you can get a feel of what is the difference between an animal and a human being. Right? So that's what I am putting next. On examining carefully, we find that this is a fundamental difference between animals and human beings. Physical facilities are necessary for animals and necessary for human beings also. However, for animals, physical facility is necessary as well as complete. For human beings, physical facility is necessary but not complete. And the meaning of it I will explain further. When an animal has lack of physical facility, it becomes uncomfortable. When it gets physical facility, it becomes comfortable. For example, when a cow gets a stomach full of grass, it becomes comfortable, sits and chews the cud. Very simple. Yes. <laughs> what about human beings? They want to save. Okay. If you look at the human being, when a human being has lack of physical facility, he becomes uncomfortable and unhappy. But once he gets the physical facility, he forgets about it and he starts thinking about hundred other things. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that is what differentiates you from the animal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are worse than animals. Very interesting. In fact, you know, in reference to this, I always keep asking in every workshop, how many of you know how many pairs of clothes you have. Not less or more, I am not asking for less or more. I am saying, <laughs> how many of you know how many pairs of clothes you have? Let's see. One. Ah, raise hand. That's okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's less than 10%. Right? So in most of the workshops, not more than 10% of the people even know how many pairs of clothes they have. What does it mean? It means that if you didn't have clothes, you will be unhappy, right? You will be uncomfortable. When you have the clothes, you have just forgot about them, right? <laughs> 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 Very interesting, right? The other example. Check for yourself if you feel every day, happy every day that you are getting enough to eat. Or you have just forgotten about it. Right? So this is one, you know, striking difference between animal and human being. If the animals have enough physical facility, right, it gets comfortable, right? Sits and chews the cut. 
But when it comes to human being, when you get physical healthy, right, you don't get happy, you don't get comfortable, right? You have hundred other things to think of. Right? And what are those things? The hundred things you are thinking of, what is it? To multiply the facility, that is within the facility itself. That is not more. <laughs> if you are thinking of multiplying the facility, you are inside the facility itself, not outside. And that will not make you comfortable and happy, right? What more? Okay, one thing we have identified, right? One is relationship. Relationship with other human beings is important for us. Right? So, the conclusion of what we have discussed till now is very simple. This. That physical facility is necessary and complete for animals. It is necessary but not complete for human beings. Human beings require physical facility and they also require relationship with human beings. So for us, this is important, this is also important. Right? This is just not enough for us. Is that clear? That was the conclusion that, you know, we had, we wanted to draw. That physical facility is important, right? As you were mentioning. But the relationship is also important for us. So this is one conclusion. Now, once this conclusion is there, we can go further, you know. <coughs> if we recognize human beings' aspiration, we find that they want to live in relationship with all and feel happy living in relationship. Therefore, relationship is necessary for human beings. Right? That is the conclusion. Right. Now, examine within yourself. You want to live in relationship, harmony with others, or you want to live in opposition with others, which is naturally acceptable to you. Live in relationship or live in opposition? Relationship. relationship. Or you believe living has to be necessarily in opposition with others. That is, there is struggle for survival and survival of the fittest. And check if you feel happy living this way. Do you feel happy living this way? Third one. No. But I think you can be thinking that you are happy. You could be falsely thinking that you are happy. Yeah, that's what we are doing today. If you look at the whole civilization, the whole education, this is what we are doing. Right? This is what is naturally acceptable to us. So what we are teaching our students, our children, is to be unhappy, right? <laughs> so we are making them, you know, lead a life which will certainly make them unhappy because this is something which is not naturally acceptable to us. Therefore, it is not leading us to happiness. But if you keep on believing, uh, uh, if you keep on not believing in the, in the third one, then I think uh, over a period, of, a period of time the human civilization will perish. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. That is what we want to investigate. You want to live in relationship, in harmony. Is it possible for us to live in harmony? Is it possible for us to live in, you know, relationship? Or is it that we are kind, you know, doomed to live in opposition and therefore in a state of unhappiness? So that's the question which is open now. Okay. So this is one observation. Right? <coughs> Thus, for human beings, both physical facility and relationship are necessary. Once we have concluded this, the next question to ask is this. On further examination, we find that we all do want to live in relationship with others. Every night, when there is a fight, we want to resolve it. We start the next day with the thought that we don't want to fight today. But due to lack of right understanding about fulfillment in relationship, a fight takes place by night. <laughs> <coughs> Long statement, right? 
Is it true? Not true. It's true, right? That is what is happening with the friends, with the family members, right? With the people in society, right? We don't want to fight. We want to be in relationship. But however hard you try, right? You end up fighting. What is the reason? Lack of right understanding about fulfillment of relationship. So I don't know how to ensure fulfillment in relationship. Therefore, even though I want to ensure fulfillment in relationship, I am not able to ensure fulfillment in relationship. Right? So, ultimately the third thing that is required for human being is this. For fulfillment in relationship, it is necessary to have right understanding about relationship. That is right understanding is also necessary for human beings. So this is the third conclusion. That all three are required. The right understanding in the self is required. Relationship with human being is required. Social <coughs> facility with rest of nature is required. Right? For human being, all three of them are required. Now you can ask yourself whether all three of them are required or you can do away with any one of them. All three are required. Are you taking care of all three of them or you are only focusing on this? <laughs> so this is one important thing to ask. The second thing important thing to ask is that if all three are required, what is going to be the priority? For me, the job is very easy. I leave it for some time and it all gets settled. You know. <laughs> okay, so this is the priority. The right understanding has to be ensured first. Right? Otherwise, other two things will not move. <laughs> then right understanding with relationship. Then right understanding relationship with physical facility. All three of them right? have to be ensured. And if you ensure all three of them, okay? Uh, what if I may ask, sir, uh, if I may ask, um, of course, uh, although it is our uh, natural acceptance uh, to be in relationship or harmony with others, it also depends on what uh, others is. For example, if we are, you know, we we are in the terrorist society, uh, we are uh, all others are killers. How can we get the right understanding? Yeah. We will look into all these, you know, details. <laughs> what we are trying to do just now is very simple thing. We at least understand our expectation. We at least understand what we want as a human being. Then we will get into the details, whether we can achieve it, not achieve it, right? Whether we can achieve it when the circumstances are favorable, or we can achieve it even when the circumstances are not favorable, right? All this will, you know, explore. So, please task that I have taken for this session is, you know, just to draw your attention towards this, you know, fact, you know, as to what we as human beings look for, right? What is necessary for us as a human being. Just to give you an idea, then we will have to un unfold all of these things, you know, one by one. Like what would mean, what would it mean by right understanding? What would it mean by relationship with human beings, right? How can we identify the need of physical facility? How much physical facility is required? Is it possible to have, you know, more than what is required? All these details will get into <coughs> That's why we need eight days to do all this, right? So in this session, I am just trying to put in place, right, your overall perspective. And then we will start unfolding each one of them, one by one. So, I said that if you have right understanding and fulfillment in relationship based on right understanding, it will lead to mutual happiness. It will lead to my happiness as well as happiness of the other. Similarly, if I have the right understanding, I can identify how much physical facility is required. Right? 
and by ensuring more than what is required as physical facility, I can ensure prosperity for me and as I can also think of nurturing others. So it will lead to mutual prosperity. So if I have all these three, this leads to happiness and prosperity for me. And I can think of happiness and prosperity for